start corning that beef. Yeah. <laughs> so, St. Patrick's Day. I'm starting to get that feeling that Big Daddy needs corned beef and cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. In back in the old days here in New York, you could find pubs open at 6 in the morning on St. Patrick's Day. I don't know if it's that case anymore. If you go up to, to Midtown to Connolly's, I know they're open. But, oh, yeah. But oh, yeah. we're downtown. There, there's got to be tons of them. Between Skiri and myself, we've tried three, yeah. and none, none of them are answering their phones. Maybe they're too busy or it's too loud, but... Or maybe they don't open until noon. Maybe they're not open. This no. is nonsense. We need somebody to open just for us. <laughs> <laughs> Who should it be? I know. Who should it be? Start, cor- start corning that beef. Yeah. <laughs> As you know, it's Thursday, our favorite day of the week. And then you add to that the fact that it's St. Patrick's Day. Uh, Froggy is giving us food news today. We're assuming there is an Irish there's an Irish kick to today's food news. Is yeah. this correct? There is. All right. So what countdown are you giving us today? The 10 most popular Irish dishes. Oh. Ooh, okay. God, I wonder if we know all these. Mm. So are you going to break this up? Because we're doing two reports. Yes. So what we'll do is we'll do one countdown here. And then when I do the food news report at eight, uh, right, just before nine, I'll give you five through one. But I'll give you 10 through six here. All right. Okay. 10 through six on the countdown of the most popular Irish foods. Go. All right. Coming in at number 10 is beef and Guinness. Pie. Oh, yeah. Beef and Guinness. It is beef and Guinness stew placed in a pastry base and then topped with a pastry lid. And it's usually good on oh. chilly days in Ireland. Okay, that's number 10. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> number nine, Irish brown bread, which you guys have had a variety of that this morning. It's basically soda bread. Beautiful. Love it. Okay. Number eight, breakfast roll. It's a sandwich consisting of different ingredients, usually bacon, mushrooms, sausage, pudding, and brown sauce. I'll take it. Okay. Number seven, white pudding. Traditional Irish dish consisting of oatmeal, bread, pork meat, fat, and suet. Suet. Love it. (laughs) Good God, I can't get enough of that. (laughs) All my favorite ingredients in one thing. Number six is called boxty. Boxty is an Irish potato pancake, finely grated and combined with buttermilk, flour, eggs, and the whole concoction, then cooked like a regular pancake. Ooh. Wow. Okay, that was number 10 through 6. We have number 5 yes. through 1 coming up in less than an hour. Yes. Yeah! Yeah! Froggy! Ready to go? I'm ready. Time for Froggy's food news. Food news. Very Irish here. Countdowns and food reviews. <laughs> I'm sure Kenny Loggins was Irish. <laughs> Absolutely. Danielle's coming up too. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, Froggy, you're going to continue your top 10 list of the best Irish foods or most popular. And of course, you have other food news. What's going on? Uh, first, this is for Danielle and Nate. Krispy Kreme's new St. Patrick's Day donuts might be just what you need today. They have four offerings oh. Lenny the Leprechaun Donut, Lucky O the Rainbow Donut. St. Patrick's Shamrock Donut, and the Green Iced with Sprinkles Donut. Now, those are limited time offerings. However, like every other St. Patrick's Day, they've got the original glazed donuts. They're back. And if you're wearing green today, stop by your Krispy Kreme, and you can get a free original glazed donut. It's green. All right. Sounds good. Stop by and get it. St. Patrick's Day celebrations all over the place. If you want to stop by Applebee's, they've got two cocktails today. The Tipsy Leprechaun and the Pot O' Gold Colada. Also, Baskin Robbins doing something with their Golden Oreo Irish Ice Cream. Chili's, their margarita of the month, is the Lucky Jameson. There's there's nothing like spending... St. Patrick's Day at Chili's. <laughs> hey, listen, man. Whatever it takes. Einstein Bagels, they've got green cream cheese today. It's called a Shamrock Schmear, available only today. Oh, my God. I got one of those at my, at my doctor's yeah. office. <laughs> okay. And Sonic is doing... No, this is really Irish. Ready? What? Sonic is giving half price corn dogs at any drive-in location today only. That's but, Irish. But wait, they're corn dogs, not corned dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I just deliver Sonic. the news. Yeah. Don't, don't, I'll, yeah. I'll be honest with you. I love Sonic corn dogs. Don't get me wrong. All right, this story is for Scotty. I know Scotty loves Twinkies, and so Hostess is now getting into the packable, A cloudy day with rain. and shareable flavors. Cool. 
Oh, can I thought, you, oh, okay. Scotty, we were talking to you. Can we talk to you? This is a story yes. for you. Okay, can uh, you read it again? Sorry. <laughs> Scotty loves Twinkies, and Hostess is now getting into the packable, poppable, and shareable trend yeah. with new Hostess bouncers. Have you yeah. heard about these, Scotty? I did. I saw those. They're like little baby Twinkies, but they're round. <laughs> yeah, so they're gl they have three flavors, glazed Twinkie, chocolate, ding-dongs, and cinnamon donuts. Uh, Ten to six we gave you earlier. This is five through one of the most popular Irish foods. So if you ever go over to Ireland, you must try these. Number five, bacon and cabbage coming in at number five. All right. Number four, oh, yes. Uh, number four, you guys are eating a ton of it this morning. Soda bread, number four. Oh, yeah. yeah. Irish soda bread right there. Thank you, Dr. Kathy. Mm -hmm. Number three, beef and Guinness stew at number three. Perfect. Mm. Irish breakfast coming in at number two. Mm -hmm. And the number one, I was a little surprised, the number one Irish food you must try on St. Patrick's Day is Irish stew made with mutton, onions, oh. potatoes, and sometimes barley. Oh, man. Some Irish stew. Who doesn't love a little mutton? Yeah. <laughs> what is mutton? It's like old it sheep or something. Old lamb. It's an old, yeah, old lamb. Old lamb. It's like an old yeah. lamb. I didn't know what it was. I'm like mutton. Uh, that doesn't sound good. I am a mutton. And there you go. Froggy's Food Day. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy your St. Patrick's Day preview. Daniel's report up next.